Hey, Jordan here. If you just came from my 3 Studio Stable 0123 install video, I'm going to show you how you can make your 3D object move. And if you didn't watch that video, click on the card above. All right, let's get started. The requirements is you're going to need to download Blender and install that. And you will also need Mixamo. You'll need an account with Adobe so you could create an account and log in and this is free to use. So let's get started. Here are one of the examples that, uh, that I'm going to use for this video. I'm going to use this guy here. We're going to open up Blender and create a general file. We'll delete the cube. And then we'll go to File, Import, OBJ. And then we're going to look for our file, which is in our three studio exports. And then I will look for Adam Adventure, which is in here. And then I'll select the object. The object will also include the materials. All right, and then down here, you could see what I'm pressing just so that uh, you'll be able to copy what I'm doing here. So I'm going to rotate him on the X axis by negative 90 degrees. And then I'm going to move him up by pressing G, Z and moving up. So he looks a little bit scratchy. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and shade smooth. And then we could change the material up here. So viewport shading and there you go. Yep. Doesn't look too great. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of UV cleanup. So what does that mean? The original image that we had downloaded from Bing Image Generator, we're going to import that into here and basically just project that onto this model here. So what we're going to do is image background. And here he is. Open that. Perfect. We're going to hide that and now we're going to clean up this a little bit. Now we're going to go into sculpting and the edges are still a little bit pointy. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the surface smooth and then just click and drag it to the right. And then we'll do sculpt and then smooth and then click and drag that to the right as well. And to try and get rid of some of that bumpy texturing. All right, that looks good enough. Great, we'll go back to layout. We could go into our modifiers here and decimate it a little bit because there's a lot of, uh, a lot of triangles here, a lot of faces. So we could trim that down. I'll do it to 0 0.2, 0 0.2 is a, is a good number. And then I'll just apply that. Perfect. Now we're going to go to shading and we're going to update this texture here to our Atom Adventure JPEG, which is the exported uh, Bing Image Creator image. But then we will go back to layout. Now it looks like a mess, but that's fine. We're going to press on the numpad one. And then we are going to select half of the body here. And then we're going to select wireframe and make sure that the x-ray is on so that we could select everything in the front like that. Perfect. That looks like it's about half and then go to data, create a new group. We'll call this front. We'll assign this. We could deselect it. Great. And now we're going to change this back, press a to select, and we're going to go to UV editing. Now we can see it looks like a mess here. So we're going to go back in here, press a three, scroll in. Now press U, project from view. And now you can see that, uh, that we've got the complete shape here. So we're going to press a G, move it into position here. We're going to press S to scale it up. G and Y try to get it in position. We're just going to make it so that it's a little bit smaller so that it could grab the inside of the image because we don't want so much of the yellow. We want most of his body. Um, and what you could do to edit it, you could select some of these, click on this, this groups up uh, 
other vertices that aren't in the selection. So you can control, so if I scroll down a little bit, you could see that it changes how many vertices you could move at the same time. So I can move that like that, select this, move it down. Then you could spend as much time as you want, you know, fixing this. I'm not going to fix it up too much, but yeah, you could spend as much time as you want fixing that. All right, so we moved the entire UV map to the back portion of him, but now we want to be able to have the front as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to click here just to deselect it, and then we're going to click on select to just get the front, click back in the UV editing bar here, and then press A, G, X to move it over. And there you go. Let's turn this off. Now, if we look here, we can see that, now we can see that our guy is mapped to the mesh. Yeah, looks decent. We're gonna go with this. Now, what you can do if you want to make a move, now you'll need to go to File, and then go to Export, FBX, and then just select the mesh change this, this is important, otherwise you won't get the materials. Select copy and then select embed textures. You need to do that, otherwise it's not going to work. And then I'll just put this in, in downloads here and we'll call it uh, Adam, Adam A. And then we'll export. All right, now we're in Mixamo, so let's upload our character. We'll select Adam A. We'll move him into position. We'll select the chin. He's a bit asymmetrical, but that's okay. We'll fix that later. All right, use symmetry. I'll just take that off so that I could have better control of where his elbows and knees are. Perfect. And then for the skeleton, we'll just use no fingers just because he's a bit of a blob. Great, now he's rigged and we could apply animations to him. Let's click next, next. Great, so we could give him a dance move. Let's give him this. I'm just like using my mouse wheel, I'm using the left click to move it around, and then right click is to pan in and out. And middle mouse button, you could pan around. So there you go. You can use the snipping tool to record a video, press uh, the Windows key, and then type in snipping tool. You can select this, and then click on new, and just select the window where you want to record him. Cool, and then just stop that. And you could either save this somewhere on your computer, or if you just want to send it in Discord or somewhere else, then you just copy that and then paste it wherever. Perfect. All right, so that's one way you could share it. Uh, another way, this is a bit easier. Another way is you can download the FBX file. So we'll download this. Uh, slide Hip Hop Dance, just need to remember that name. We'll go back into Blender. We'll do File, New, General, don't save, delete, and we will import our FBX file. It was in Downloads, under Slide Hip Hop Dance. Great, let's change this to the material. And perfect. Got him dancing in Blender. Let's create a scene to render. Move the camera by pressing zero on the numpad and then shift and tilde to move the camera and use you know, W, ASD, just like any other video game, and Q and E to pan up and down. You could do that. You could add a plane, shift A, mesh plane, make it bigger, you know, press tab. 
press tab and then two, select the edge there, you know, extract that and press Z to go up. You can do the same on this edge here, E, Z and up. Now you've got a nice little wall there. Do, 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 do. And now if you go to, there's a bunch of settings. I'm just showing you like a very, very quick way of exporting the video. So the output is your temp folder. Your temp folder is you know, in your C drive. So if I pull it up here, scroll down to C drive and temp is right here. Nothing in there right now. So to render this out, what we'll do is we'll go to render and render animation. Before I do that though, I'll just, uh, I'll just show you the light as well. So the light, the light is somewhat nearby, but I'll bring it a little closer. Tab to get out of edit mode, grab the light. And then if I click on the light option here, you know, I could choose how bright I want it or how dark. So if I go to viewport shading, and I'll make it 600, how about that? Make the color a bit warmer. Press zero. There you go. Normally you'd want to be able to create some more lights, but up to you what you want to do. This is just a, a basic tutorial. All right, now press render and render animation and it will take some time. All right, great, it's done. Now you can see that it exported all of the different images. So it's an image sequence. You can use Premiere or FFmpeg or any other tools to be able to combine all of these frames together. Uh, I'll just show you how to do it in Premiere real quick. Now that we're in Premiere, what we're going to do is we're going to import. So we're going to go to File, Import. We'll go to our temp. And then we'll select our first one and then it will auto select image sequence and then you could open. Perfect. And then we'll click and drag this over here. And there you go. Now you've got your image sequence into Premiere as a video. And there you go. Have some fun making your, your little characters dance and I'll see you next time.